Motorcycle World Championship in Holland, Mana 3 rider again rolled over. Mana 3 leader Acosta run over in training and suffers back injury. Just four weeks after the Swiss, motorcycle professional Jason Dupasquier died after an accident. There was another moment of horror in ascent. Pedro Acosta was run over by a colleague after a fall, but he seems to be fine. After a terrible mass crash in the final training of Mata 3 in Holland, World Championship leader Pedro Acosta has to fear about the start of the ninth race of the season. The Spaniard fell on Saturday morning and was run over by the Italian Ricardo Rossi. Acosta sustained a back injury that put him out of action for qualifying on Saturday. It is unclear whether the World Championship leader can take part in the race on Sunday. With the Italian Stefano Nepa and the Japanese Yusei Yamanaka, two other drivers were affected. The two pilots were hospitalized after the accident. Fractures are suspected. Four weeks ago, the Swiss Jason Dupasquier was run over in qualifying for the Italian Grand Prix in Mugello and succumbed to serious head injuries. The driver of the German team Prestel GP was only 19 years old. The way you drive in Mata 3 has recently been an issue again and again. The race management has already organized two meetings with the drivers and team managers to make those involved aware of the dangers and raise their awareness. Ricardo Rossi had to be treated on the straight after the accident, but was able to get up after a few minutes. The Italian looked dazed. Acosta was also able to leave the scene of the accident on its own and apparently had not sustained any serious injuries. Even before the final exchange of blows, things were hot in the FT3. A number of top riders fell. John Maggia, KTM caught it again in Turn 9. Maj had already taken off spectacularly on Friday. Tetsuki Suzuki. Honda crashed at Turn 7, as did Darren Binder. Honda. Since most of the drivers screwed up the timing for the final chase, there were hardly any changes to the order in the final phase. Dennis Foggia Honda set the fastest time in FT3, but was slower than Tatsuki Suzuki in FT2. John Maja was the most prominent driver to miss direct qualification for Q2. The Ajo pilot finished the FT3 in 11th position, but in the combined evaluation of all training sessions it was only enough for 15th position.